What materials can block Wi-Fi signal? Hi guys! Today we are going to carry what materials can block a Wi-Fi signal experiment out. And now I want to introduce you my teammate. I'm Berk Dursun Yılmaz. Agit Çelic. Uh, Burkan Öztürk. Selim Kundakçıoğlu. As the camera guy. Thank you. Now I want to talk about our setup. We have a wireless router here, an open wireless signal. And we have an Android phone here with installed and DVM measurement application on it. What is DVM scale? DVM scale is a measurement way to measure Wi Fi signals. The measurement results, which is closest to zero, will be higher Wi Fi quality. And it's now connected to this device. Now we are going to put some materials in front of this router and then measure the DBM changing and at the end we want to conclude attenuation amount of Wi-Fi signal. And uh, I want to uh, talk about dependent and independent variables right now. We have wireless router and Android phone here. They are not changing the places location of it, so they are dependent variables. But we are going to use some materials to test. They will be independent variables, and also uh, between the distance between the materials and wireless router will be also not changing. Uh, so it will be dependent variable. So now Agit is our narrator. Uh, he, he is going to take some notes and data as we measure it. So what is first materials to measure again? Today we will use some materials to measure Wi-Fi signal. First yeah. we will measure Wi-Fi signal with aluminum foil. Berk, please put aluminum foil in front of the Wi-Fi. All right. At the beginning, our program shows us the dBm measurement right now is minus 40 dBm. This is maximum of it right now. Now we are going to put the aluminum foil in front of wireless router without touching it and we will measure the final results. Now it's minus 40 right now. I am putting aluminum foil in front of the wireless router. So I will again do it because we couldn't measure it. You better not to come here because it's changing. Uh, just trust us uh, as a result. I will try it again because it changed. So, we say again. It changed from minus 40 to minus 48. So, we are taking that data for our data table on the first trial part. So, I'm going to try it again for trial 2. 3, 2, 1. Now it changed from minus 40 to minus 50. Alright, we are taking data. And for third trial, I'm trying it again. Now it changed from minus 40 to 54. Alright, please take the data. At the end, we are going to average them all and to have an average data. Now, so. now we will use steel baking pan to measure Wi-Fi signal. I have steel baking pan. Are you ready, Agit? Yes. Alright. I'm please, putting please this side put it to the wireless router. Yes. So, 3, 2, 1. 
we are waiting for measure the data. Yeah. It's changed from minus 40 to minus 58. All right. Now, second trial. Now it changes from minus 40 to 50. Minus 50. All right. Third trial. Now it changes from minus 40 to 50. All right. Now, Burkhan, what do you think so far? Mm. Uh, steel baking pond affects the most so far uh, compared to aluminium foil. Uh, I was uh, surprised about it. Uh, I have never known uh, these things. And now we will measure like a signal with human body, with one volunteer that our friend yeah, uh, human body was Selim's responsibility. Did you bring it, Selim? <laughs> yes, I am here. <laughs> now, a uh, camera guy changing from Selim to Buka. Now, please, Selim, uh, first, for first trial, please sit down between wireless router and the phone. Please do not touch them. All right. So. And it changed from Shut minus 40 to 54. All right, now second trial. Second trial, please, Selim. All right. And now it changed from minus 40 to 58. Looks like very effective. I yeah, yeah, because water is affects mostly because of our body is constructed from uh, water and water affects the uh, radio waves too much in electromagnetic spectrum. Please, for the tr uh, th third trial, please come again. And now our DBM changed from minus 42 again minus 58. All right, <laughs> thank you. Now uh, please sit down there. And now we will use glass baking pump to with wider measuring. So I have a uh, glass baking pan here. Please put in front of the Wi-Fi. For the first trial. We are waiting for changing. If it don't know it might work. I I think it changed from minus forty to minus forty-four. There yeah. is no too much effect. Yeah, there is no too much effect. <laughs> and second trial. Alright. Because um, glass is reflective material. I think because of that but And again it's too much effect. Yeah, this and time. Minus no, 40, actually, uh, minus 42, minus 48. Yeah, exactly. Surprised me, actually. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. So for the short trial. We are waiting for changing. Effect is not too much. Our DBM changed from 40 to 42. Human effects must affect the uh, result data. And now we will use cardboard to measure Wi-Fi signal. So we have how, a... How can cardboard block the Wi-Fi signal? Yeah, exactly. We, we have a uh, notebook with uh, their covers with cardboard. We are going to use this for two pieces of them. Now I'm going to start for the first trial. Effects from minus 40 to minus 44. Actually, for it's three. It's a seamless glass baking pan. Minus 43, I think. Okay. Or, yeah. Again? It wasn't certain, but. Okay. Now, second trial. Minus 42, minus 41. Yeah, exactly. It's too little. Change. Now, church right? Am I right? Yes. All right. It 
it's changed from minus 42 to minus 44 now. We are continuing it. With plastic to measure part of the blue. All right. We have, we plastic, have plastic water container, but without water, we will uh, fill it water after this and measure it as well. So, I'm putting it. I think without the uh, lid, it will be perfect. All right, I put it. We are waiting for it changing. Minus 42, minus 42. All right, I'm taking it again. I'm waiting for normally the DBM schedule, scale. Again. And now our DBM changes from minus 42 to minus 44. All right. We are waiting for reset. Again. And now our changing is minus 42, minus 44 again. DBM is not changing. Second and third period. All right, now we are going to fill this with water for the other trial. Now, see you later. Welcome. Welcome. I, feel I have filled the water in the, into the plastic. Thank you. Now we are going to continue our trials with different materials. So, now I am putting the water filled container in front of the wireless router. Now we are waiting for change. Oh my goodness, it changed mine from minus 42 to minus 52. Yeah, exactly. The water, I said that. Water affects the most. Can you take it? Yeah, of course. I'm taking it. We are waiting it to reset. Okay. Okay. Now for the second trial. Uh, now it changed to minus 50. Exactly. Now I'm taking it again. It's I'm ready. ready. For the chart trial. Again it's minus 50. Alright. So we are done with taking data. Now we are going to take the attenu attenuation, calculate the attenuations and we will take the average of three trials for each materials then we will compare them and tell the conclusion to you guys now we have finished our experiment and we have calculated attenuations and took the averages of them now Celine will uh, talk about the conclusion part now, Seven, what we learned in this experiment? Uh, this, uh, this experiment teaches us the human body is the most effective uh, one on Wi Fi signal in our materials. Exactly. We didn't try another thing. In these seven things, the human body is the most effective one because I am. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, good. Uh, card, cardboard is the. Uh, Less one, last one. I mean, interesting, yeah. yeah. Because the last effect is less, also. Yes, as you say, uh, everybody has uh, water uh, too much, so it affects so much on Wi Fi signal. Yeah, exactly. Our research, background research, showed us that. Now we see the results right now. Uh, now we can link the connections. Now, thank you. I'm so much grateful to our, our my teammates as well. Thank you.